All right, so we are rolling out to go tile a field. This is what controls our plow up here and then our tile plow back here. I'll try to go through some of that stuff with you. But basically, this is the plan I designed up uh, based on our yield maps from combining how the surface water pools and stands and kind of went out there and did some elevations with the transit and came up with that over the winter time and it's a good day today so we are gonna go start on that project putting in our first line today we're running at a quarter percent slope and this is all powered by GPS some of those squiggly lines on there is from the pre-ripping and hitting rocks that we had to dig out but it's going good so far we're on the first line of the day and we got good weather, we got rain coming tomorrow, so let's see how far we go. So this is the next day, we had a good day yesterday. We did uh, that manifold over there. We had some vents that we had to dig into the woods for the system. You vent the system so that way it doesn't, uh, vent means bringing a pipe up to the surface so that way it can suck in air and it won't suck in as much silt into the pipe. So right now we're pre-ripping a run to put some pipe in. You can see this is the line profile here. This is where it's running, you know, based off the RTK. And then when we pre-rip, we go, we don't go at the exact depth of the pipe. We go just a few inches above where we want our final grade. So I'm pre-ripping four inches above our final grade, which is the final grade's roughly gonna be about uh, 32 inches here. Pre-rip about 1.4. This is a CVT transmission, so I just changed the speed by this little knob here. So we pre-ripped the first line. Now we're gonna survey, we're gonna survey the next line. So what survey means is we're gonna basically drive just with our plow up. You can see that little globe on the top that says Trimble up there. Um, Basically what that's doing is that's serving our topo elevation. So if we look here, let's just look at this last line we did. We can see our surface elevation has some ups and downs. You can see here's a valley. So we want that pipe to run at a constant grade. So we don't want it to dip if we just were following the surface. So this has the brains to be able to you know the pipes not as deep in the ground here but it has the same amount of grade so that last line we just did um, you can see some of the elevations uh, all that stuff that lines 800 feet long some of our calculations I want the pipe running you know two foot ten inches optimal max I want to go is three foot four inches so that's uh, 40 inches deep that's quite deep some of our outlet elevations and all that good stuff so if I come back to this screen you can see some of our surveys and some of the stuff we did yesterday so now we're gonna survey a run here so I'm gonna hit record section it reminds me to make sure the plows all the way up and now what we're doing is we're mapping our top elevation. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but we're going through a little dip right here. And now I can see on the surface, just by my eye, the elevation's going up right here. And then we're going back down. Everything we work when we lay in pipe the best to do is work from low to high if you work from high to low you're going to be working in water the whole job because as soon as we put these pipes in they are starting to run so 
So we're still mapping our surface elevation here. You can see it's raining right now. We're, we're probably going to get rained out here in a little bit. It's going to stop raining probably around noon, but by then everything's going to be too, too far saturated. Especially down here, it's a little sloppy. So I'm going to record that. You can see our surface elevation now. Now I got to go to design and I need to measure the outlet depth we have there. So I got the boot now right on the ground. So I'm going to measure outlet. Now we're going to get out here and I'm going to explain something, but you can see it's given me a red red thing meaning it's the pipes not deep enough right now our outlets one foot four inches so let's get out and take a look here but the reason it's so shallow is is we're working in an area that does not have a very good drainage outlet so we connected into a pipe that goes to cross the road so we don't really have a lot of fall is what I'd call it so we're working very very tight here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this pipe almost level until we get to some good grade we want that pipe in like 30 inches so we're very shallow right now so what we'll do is there's like a little bit of a swale here so I'm gonna cut some material from over here and push it over so when we're all said and done out of here we will put about six to eight inches of material over this surface elevation right now to bring it up but basically we got a six inch pipe coming here we made a little inspection cover here so that way we can make sure our lines working from where it takes off to go to the other the other line so this is the tile plow here it's got a big point on there. Get the soil off there so you can see. But it's got a point. It's run by cylinders. You run the lift arms here. These are lift arms. You run those in the float mode. And then based off that globe, and then there's one on the tractor, they talk to each other. This is some of our depth gauge. Just uh, when this chain's running flush on the ground, you know you're to depth or deep, deep enough, I should say. And basically how this works is the pipe goes through this boot here, comes down through, and then this swivels, but it comes out this hole here, and then there's a V on the bottom of this plow, so that way it, it sets real nice in that V. So we got our T in, we're gonna, I'm gonna pre-rip this, and then Matt's gonna come on over and take a look here. Or he's gonna, Matt's gonna come on over and then we're gonna get ready laying the, laying the pipe. So you can see where I just pre-ripped over here. This is that V I was telling you about that the pipe's gonna lay in. So we're gonna put in here. You can see already just the natural moisture of the ground it's it's just making this wet here and things are going to be off to the races working quick usually whenever this field rains it it uh it fills up with water quite a bit because it really didn't have a good entrance to go to go away so because i want it, i'm set at the depth here the final grade it wants me to be four inches up because I want to pre-rip. So if I run to depth, that's when we're when we're installing the pipe, we'll be at zero inches there. And you can see we're spot on, 0.1 inches off. Great. But we're pre-ripping, so I want to be four inches above. So I'm going to just raise the lift arms a little so there's not pressure on our boot. I'm going to engage our 
hydraulics which run automatically and then now I'm gonna click auto and you can see as I move the plow up and down it's automatically adjusting on its own where it wants to go so we're gonna go forward here now and start pre-ripping as soon as we get some material in on that plow I'm gonna put the lift arms to float and then it's gonna work a lot better now some of the reasons we pre-rip is you never know what's in the ground there might be a big stone or a big log so we pre-rip first to make sure if we hit anything we can just lift the plow up if we had the pipe in there we'd then have to cut the pipe dig out the stone or stump or whatever and then uh, and then have to patch the pipe so by pre-ripping it takes a little bit longer but it it uh, does a better job with the pipe and laying it in you'll result in a better job also pre-ripping with going a little bit higher it it helps break up the soil so that way when we're pulling in the pipe believe it or not the pipe actually takes quite a bit of resistance while we're pulling it in compared to what we're doing right now so it's nice to loosen up that soil so when you are putting in the pipe it just goes in a lot better you have a lot better traction so this tractor has duals on the rear the insides are loaded but as soon as we finish this job we got brand new insides on the duals to put on here because they are getting uh, down you can see just with the mud on the inside duel there how it's leaving a flat it's not leaving a nice tread like that outside the tires just worn worn down it's original from when the tractor's brand new and you know we almost have 3,000 hours on this so we're gonna finish pre-ripping this pipe and then I'll get you some footage of actually putting in the pipe So Matt runs alongside me stringing out the pipe. This line's already pre-ripped, so we're running there. Things are on grade. Bruno's in the truck taking a nap. His 10 o'clock break lasts a lot longer than others. So then when Matt gets to the end, he's going to cut the pipe at the desired length. And then he sticks one of these green end caps in it. And what that, that just does so we can cap it and we run it right out through the end. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at how these these tiles come uh, we call these maxis so what they are is they they're spooled onto a center core that and basically this pipe has little slots in it perforated we call it so that's what allows the the water to go into this drain tile so on one of these spools there's about 3200 feet of pipe so this is four inch and then you can see here's a coil of six inch so one of the last steps we do is then we take the bulldozer and we hill up the lines so you can see there's a line running right here it's kind of hard to see but we hill it up a little bit because what happens we disturb the soil so that soil takes a while to settle out and if you don't hill them up a little bit there will actually be a depression where that line is so we like to hill them up with the bulldozer and then they get uh, smoothed out with the disc or something like that if we don't do that you'll have those those uh kind of those little depressions in your field for a long time so I just want to show you this is one of the outlets here that we did and you can see our four inch is running awesome being taken away with a six inch here 
so it hasn't rained in a while and usually this is all flooded in here and there's a bunch of ponds and stuff but the drainage is really working well I'm really happy with this and I'm glad uh, we could work this out so with that that's gonna be the end of this video I want to thank you for watching and uh, catch up on some of the other videos there's some good pruning videos some fertilized videos if you haven't seen those yet and uh, I'm gonna keep the series going for building our trellis uh, probably after this video there'll be a part two of the trellis where we're laying out the posts and pounding the posts in so Thanks. If you like this video, remember to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thanks and see you later.